Hi guys, so this is my very first video and I'm really really excited to be making this. I think on the scale and the past and animation, it's an amazing place to start. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm using my portfolio page on this interior design website to demonstrate it, but honestly it'll look great in so many different situations. So let's just get started. I have a copy of my collection right here and I'm going to be working with it. You don't have to use a collection for this, you can just use any image or like a um, grid or whatever you want. Um, so let's see how this works. Uh, just make sure you place your image and if you want a text there too, just make sure to place it in a div block right here. Um, so these are my settings for my div. I have my width at 100% and my minimum height is at 250 pixels. My position is set to relative and please make sure you have your overflow to hidden. That's because if you don't, the image is just gonna, when it animates, it's just gonna get bigger and like there's not gonna be these boundaries to keep it in place. So when it zooms, it's just gonna, it's just gonna come out. <laughs> Nothing's gonna keep it in place. Um, my settings for my uh, image are very simple. There's nothing crazy going on here. But here you can have a look. And my heading is pretty simple too. I just set my position into absolute and I put it in the bottom left corner. Um, and I also adjusted the spacing a little bit just so uh, the edges are even over here. So let's get started. Let's select our portfolio image or whatever you name this class and go to interactions. Okay, we don't need this right here. So let's just create a new element trigger by clicking on this plus right here and let's select mouse hover. So whenever we're hovering over this element, it animates. Okay, good. So let's select uh, start an animation and we're gonna create a brand new animation by clicking the plus sign gonna name this scale and opacity okay good and we're gonna create a new action by clicking on this plus sign and it's going to be scale and um, this is not supposed to affect an, an interaction trigger so we have to select this as an only selected element so we make sure that only the image we're hovering over is animating Okay, so here we're going to put this to 1, enter, and as you can see, it affects the second field as well. For the duration, I would like to do 0.25% um, for this one. And let's select our easing to ease out, out quad. This is going to look good. Okay, and last thing is just let's set this timing to set as initial state. And we're done with the first action. Let's move on to the second one, which is going to be filter with our image selected still. Let's just click on filter. Good. Our selected element is still here, which is great. So let's go down. Let's go down to filter and select um, grayscale. Right here, it's at 100%, which is good. Let's keep it that way. Let's just adjust our duration and easing to out of quad and set our time into set as initial state. And that's it for the image for now. So now let's click on the heading because we're gonna be working with it now. So let's click on actions plus and we're gonna click on move now because that's the action we're gonna make. We're gonna make it slide from the bottom. If you can see it affects the class now because it's a new element. So let's change it to selected element again. Okay, and let's put 15 pixels over here. So it's a little lower. Okay, and let's again adjust our duration to 0 0.25 and our easing to out of quad and set the timing to set as initial state. And that's it for the first head in action. Let's move on to the second one, which is going to be opacity in style right here. And this time we're going to lower opacity to zero. Perfect. And let's adjust our duration to 0 0.25 and our ease into outer quad and set the assignment as initial state. Perfect. Okay. For now, this is good. And now we're going to set the end. So let's click on plus sign right here. 
Wait, actually, let's not forget to select our image. So that's the element we're um, animating. And now we're going to click on the plus sign. And let's click on scale. And uh, this time we're going to put 1.1. Enter. This affects this um, field as well. That's good. So let's adjust our duration and our easing. Okay. This time we're not set, um, setting the timing as initial state. So keep that in mind. Let's just click on the plus sign and create a new action for the image, which is going to be filter. And this time we're going to go down to filter, select our grayscale filter and lower it to zero. Okay, looks good. So let's just um, adjust our duration and adjust our easing to out of quad. Do not set the time into initial state. We don't need this right now. So let's just move on to the next action. Once again, <laughs> got to click on the heading because that's um, what we're going to be adjusting now. First, we click on the heading because we're done with the images. And um, now we're clicking on the plus sign. Okay, so we're going to be adjusting our opacity and this time we are going to, we keep it at 100. Okay, that's good. Let's just adjust our duration to 0 0.25 and adjust our easing and put it, set it to outer quad. Okay, and that's it for this heading action. So let's create a new one, which is going to be move. Okay, let's select moved right here and let's just set this one to zero. So we're bringing it back to place. Okay, looks good. Let's adjust our duration and easing. Perfect. That looks amazing. Um, now, all we have to do, since these four were set as initial state, the diamond was set to initial state, they are all happening at the same time. But these are not, so they're all happening at different times. All we have to do is we got to drag one of these. Okay, I have to drag one of these and my computer is lagging. So I'm just going to click back. So I didn't do anything yet. I just undid it. So what we're going to do to make sure these all are happening at the same time, just these last four ones, we got to grab one of them and drag it in like next to one, into one of the other ones. So they're all in the same framework. We're just gonna grab one of them and drag into, my computer's really lagging. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, you just have to, okay, it did put it there. You just have to drag all four of them into this one blue framework right here. Yes, it's supposed to look like this, like a one blue framework. So at the end, we have this one. They're all grouped together and these all four grouped together. And that's great. So let's save this. Okay, so we have our animation on hover, but at this point, nothing is happening when we... Uh, when we hover out so nothing's happening it's just gonna remain that same way and that's not how we want it so let's make sure we have an animation on hover out as well let's um, start a new animation and the scale and opacity animation that we created it's also shown right here let's duplicate it let's duplicate it and I will also rename it to um, like hover out or something like this and let's go right here click on the settings icon and let's edit it um, i right click on these last four ones and i'm going to delete all of the last four ones okay and for the first four ones okay it's still deleting <laughs> for the first four ones i'm just going to select the timing as initial state for all of the four like this it's really easy. Uh, the last one. Okay, and I'm going to save it. And that's it for the animation. Let's see what it looks like um, in the user view right here by clicking on the eye.
and it looks great. Just my computer is lagging again. <laughs> no, actually, it's not lagging. It doesn't work because I didn't select the animation. When it's selected, it is going to work. And it does. It does hover out as it's supposed to. So just please make sure to um, have your hover out animation also selected. Um, and it's going to properly work like this. It looks great. Yeah, I think you can use it so many different ways. I love this animation. I think it's very classy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be posting more of these different animations and just how I work and what I do. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye.